السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to الدرس الحادي عشر Lesson 11 uh, This lesson 11 we don't really learn too many new concepts It's just a few, or just one thing basically um, Okay, so we will see in this lesson في The harf jar في which means in And we'll see that you can attach it to the to the dama'ir, to the pronouns, as we've seen before. Just like we attach the dama'ir to the lamul mulk and to inda and so on, you can attach it to fi also. So fi plus the ya is fiya, fiya, which means in me. Fiya, in me. Fi plus the kaf, whether it's male or female, is going to be fika or fiki. Fika or fiki. Fi plus the the who the damir is going to be fi he. So observe that this is going to take a kasra fi he. So it's not going to be like in the who lahu. It doesn't take a dhamma anymore. It takes a kasra fi he, and you have to memorize that and know it well. Fi he means in him or in it. It's masculine. In him or in it. Fi plus the ha is going to be fi ha. In her or in it. It feminine though. Okay. So an example of uh, of this being used is uh, if you want to say someone has good manners, for instance, the word for manners is khuluk, khuluk, khulukun, right? So you could say fika. خلقن. فيك خلق. In you is good manners. أو فيك خلق. فيه خلق. In him is manners. Good manners. أو فيها خلق. Just giving you an example of how it could be used. But you will see it being being used in the um, in this lesson many times. Inshallah ta'ala. So get used to this. So you're gonna see it a lot. Inshallah. And the second concept is أحبو. أحبو is actually a verb, a fi'l, and Verbs, as we mentioned before, uh, can be in different tenses. They have the past tense, present tense, and the um, past tense, present tense, and the amr form, okay, the command form. So here we go, uhibbu, which is in the present tense, which means I like or I love. Uhibbu means I like. Oh, I love, depending on the context. So if you want to say, I love my mother, I love my mother, you say, Uhibbu ummi. Uhibbu ummi. If you want to say, I love my father, you would say, Uhibbu abi. Uhibbu abi. If you want to say, I love uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Uhibbu Allah. Uhibbu Allah. And notice that it's going to take a fatha. Uhibbu Uhibbu Allaha because it is the object of the verb, the object of your love. In this case, it's Lahdu Jalala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it will take a fatha. The thing that you love will be mansu in general. Okay? Uhibbu al lughatal arabiyata. I love the Arabic language. Al lughatal arabiyata. And so on. But we'll learn more about verbs in a separate um, chapter, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, 